Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you. Back from the creek. Have an awesome afternoon. El negrito. Le hace frente a Hope. Come here, baby boy. Come here. You can fight her. You're a throw man. <laughs> Ava. You fight that girl. You tell her who's Bosch. You can do it. You do. It. Good job. You teach her who's a man. Teacher. No, don't hide behind your mom. That's not a manly thing to do. Stop. He doesn't want to play anymore. He's scared. <laughs> Maybe not. You fight her, baby boy. You fight her. If you have it in you, you fight <laughs> or run. Or run. I'm just thinking about it. You can fight her, baby. You fight that girl. You come here with your Grammy. Oh, not you, Mocha. I'm tracking your child. You tell Hope, out of my way, young lady. Tell her, out of my way. I'm a strong, independent young boy who's almost a man. Come on, you can do it. Come here, boy. Oh, now you come. Mm. Very manly of you. <laughs> You're right here with Grammy. No, go away. Leave him. He just wants to be with me. He's scared of you. I'm sorry. You just want to be a manly man, but she... Come here. Come here with Grams. <laughs> Fight her, baby. Oh. You get her, baby. <laughs> He's on two legs. Careful, Hope. Baby, come here. Okay, Hope, leave him. He doesn't want to play. He's scared. Come here. Hope. Hope, come here. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. I don't like you anymore. That's my mom. Leave me. My mommy will protect me. Oh my gosh. Come here, my blacky boy. Come here. Come here with Grammy. Come here. Come here. She's not gonna do ah. Okay, she will. Say hi to you, ghoulies. Don't be scary. Believe it or not, I store a lot of the girl stuff under this, I don't know, searing, seating area. And I'm gonna go through that and make sure that everything that I ordered and that is coming in the mail been getting notifications that's been sent is everything that I need to have in my kit and kit. So ignore my mess here but I do keep all our board games down here. I have all my GOAT records there as far as what's what happened before I started using the tablet and also as a backup I have my projector for when we want to watch movies outside in the summer, my sewing kit. And then over there, I have my kidding supplies. Now, I kind of went over them about a month ago, so that's why I knew I had to order a few things. But I keep them here because if I'm in a hurry, that's a door that it's not well closed, but that it goes to the back which goes to where the goats are. So if I'm in a hurry 
and I need something from the kitten kid that's exactly where it is you know kind of it's very handy to get it so let me show you what I have here and what I'm still waiting for I have quite a few towels this year because last year I felt like I was constantly washing towels and I didn't have this many doughs that were due at the same time. This is my hair dryer. Very important. And this is something that I found. Uh, one of my friends was going to get rid of it and I thought I can totally use this. On this side is kind of a rubber it almost reminds me one of those things that people used to put in the mattresses for when kids had accidents. So on this side is fabric and then on this other side it's kind of something that won't let it go through. So I'm thinking I'm going to use this for the babies if I have to bottle feed. So that's why I have it there. And then let me get everything out from this bag. Now I've been trying to keep things together. It says paste here because I typically just have the little tubes of selenium and other things here like probiotics and stuff like that. But I found myself having to go through a bag. Last year when I had it, all my kidding supplies in a bag I found like it wasn't really... I don't know. I feel like the little stuff would get lost all the time. So this year I decided to kind of put it all together in one of these containers. All the little stuff that usually I have to dig through my bag to find. And that way, you know, make it easier for me. Now let's start with some basics, which is for the babies when they're born. I have some iodine to put in their umbilical cord area. I typically put it in one of these cups and tilt so I can get all, not only that specific area that is open, but a little bit of rounded. I feel like it helps dry the umbilical cord faster. I also have some regular floss, which I don't see many people use it, but when there is a umbilical cord that won't break or it's hard to break, I typically just tie it with a little bit of this and then cut it. So it will be a less of a mess if there's still blood in there and um, I just was taught that that's the best way to do it. So that's why I have the scissors and, and I have the floss. That is why I keep it. I also have a syringe bulb that I sterilize so this is clean and ready to go. I'm not gonna get it out of here. This is the OB lube. This is for when you have to go in. This is the concentrate powder. So basically you just use water to make it into a slippery, silicone-y almost feeling product where it's going to be easier for you to go in. Now, that's not something that I want to use. I hope that I don't have to, but but if there's a need for me to go in, one of the things that I've been told over and over again is do not go in without lube. Uh, you wouldn't want that on yourself, you know. You wouldn't want to be checked by your doctor without lube, especially when there is something that needs to be maneuvered inside of you. So that's definitely something that I hope not to use, but if I have to go in, it's definitely needed. I also have this double clip. I remember watching a video by Blue Cactus There I Go that she was saying how important it is to have some of these. Now I use this all over the farm to kind of clip things together so I can open them easily if needed. But I also have some hooks in the kidding stalls so if there was a case where I need her to be still I can clip this to her collar and clip this other side to the hook and that way she won't have more than this room to move around. I mean she could move to the sides but there's not going to be a lot of give for her to move if I have to go in and I don't have any help. 
hopefully that won't happen uh, years prior my kids were here um, this year uh, they're not gonna kid in the summer so um, very likely my son will be at school who is the one that is still here then my daughter is in college so I can't really count with you know on somebody to be here and if it's a worst case scenario I really rather have things kind of set up to make it easier in a stressful situation. Now, this is just a regular thermometer. I have it marked there. That's as far as it needs to go in to make sure to check temperature. I am not expecting to use it on the dough, but on the babies, if I feel like they are cold, I use it many times on babies, and it really helps to kind of, when it's in the borderline, you know, it's a kid that is cold but it's not freezing, it's not freezing inside the mouth, there's always good to have thermometer. I meant to order another one because, um, you know, this thing can run out of battery, something can happen and I, to me it's really, really important. And then I also have the ProBios. This is the paste that I usually give to the does and to the kids. If I see a kid that needs it, I usually give them Jumpstart. If there are... What happened over here? I don't know. Uh, but if I see that it's a small baby or, you know, they're struggling a little bit, I always give them Jumpstart Plus and it helps a lot. Um, this is the molasses. I've been using it for a couple of kidding season and that's that's as much as I've used. It just needs a little bit in hot water and it's really something that the does enjoy very much and it helps with their energy. You also can give you can also give them nutrient drench, but I I'd rather use that. This is some colostrum that I have left from last year that I saved. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use it to be honest with you because something chewed the bag. So I, you know, I'm not too happy about that. And then here I keep gloves because these are serve gloves and the boxes that come in, they just break apart, especially when it's kind of humid outside. So. I have that and then I have some hand sanitizer. Now for the babies, I have this in case that I need to tube one of them, hopefully not. And I also have a lamp puller here, so this is also sterile, so that's why they are inside the Ziploc. Then in this ginormous Christmas bag, I have... somebody gifted me this. This is um I don't know if they're puppy pads or if they're used for like adult wetting their beds or stuff like that. I think there's a combination of both. And I thought I'd use some of this. I don't really like to use them for drying kids. I think it's too synthetic and you never finish drying them off. So I have quite a few of them let's see I have more here but then here I have a whole bunch of towels and I keep moving it and you can't see it but I have like a mountain of towels that I can dry kids with and again the first year I had a couple of towels old towels that I used and it worked just fine but I only had three kids born that first kidding season in 2021, so I didn't feel like I needed that many. Last year, when Clara had the quads, I realized that I was going to need a lot more, even though they were kind of spread out, the kidding uh, dates. So this is why if you don't remember we have five does due the first week of march starting on march 1st with gaia and clara the fourth for briere and the fifth for mocha and annabelle then finally we have athene but athene is in may so i am going to put everything back there and this is kind of ready but there's still a couple of things that i'm missing oh and i also left here my hair dryer 
I don't use my hair dryer as much as I should so I typically have it saved for the goats I am kind of lazy and sometimes I just let my hair air dry well 99% of the time so this is kind of living here with the goats now the idea is that I'm gonna take from that door whatever it's needed but then if I am going to come inside to warm some kids then I have everything that I need right here which is this I'm gonna call it puppy pad that is washable the hair dryer and you know just the basics for the kids And I almost forgot, I had a few hoodies that I was going to get rid of. And we're always needing rags, so I was cutting them into smaller pieces. And I realized that this could be the perfect baby goat coat. And what I'm planning to do is just use this for the neck and then cut a couple of holes here so they can be warm if needed, if it's really cold. And I don't know where, but I read somewhere that baby goats cannot regula regulate their own temperature for the first two weeks. So some people have those warming lights. I don't have those and I don't trust those in my barn because I have a very primitive electric setup. Uh, we also live in an area where it's not really too cold, so it's not like it's a must that I need to get that done as soon as possible. But if it's needed, I have a couple of this sleeves of some hoodies that I can cut a couple of holes and use them as little sweaters for the babies. And this is one of my girls XX Tentacion so they're gonna be very cool this baby goat so this is something I wanted to share I haven't cut them really to size I have a small little sweater I got for the little black boy toad so I was thinking that I'm gonna put it on top and kind of figure out where the legs would go I don't know, I'm afraid to make the, the holes too closer to the neck or, you know, not close enough. That's, that's some things that I need to work on. But at least I'll have four and hopefully, you know, if more are needed, I'm sure I have hoodies somewhere else that I was planning to make into wraps. Now, I feel like I'm still missing a couple of other things, so I'm gonna go through the list that I have for um, the kidding essentials but um, I know that I'm also waiting for I think it's called a kid swing or something like that I'm gonna put it on the screen right now it's basically something where you can put the baby and then you can use like a fish scale or something like that to check their weights with having multiples it's very helpful to keep an eye on their weight more than it is to check their bellies to make sure that they're round and full more times than not kids are either running around or they're sleeping in like a pile of baby goats and so I don't you know chances are I'm not gonna check every single kid and the more babies that they have the harder that it is for me to keep an eye on each and every one of them and so because of that I feel like a good practice has been to track their weight every day for the first two weeks and then continue to check every week after that or every two weeks depending on how I see that they're growing. So last season what I used was a kitchen scale and whatever I could fit the kids in, either a kitchen bowl or I had a little basket that I could use. As they grow it gets harder and harder to check their weight and last year it made it like such a chore to check their weights because you know some are a little bit more mellow and they will stay still but some other ones are just 
so full of energy or they get scared and with their legs everywhere and it's just makes it into something that I don't look forward to do so I've decided I'm just gonna bite the bullet get get that fish scale or something like it and the attachment to actually put them there and maybe I'll use them for trimming hooves as well I was looking at it and it's supposed to hold up to 110 pounds so I could easily use it for my goats too so I would have to set it up in a way where I can keep them off the ground and I think that would be easier especially when they're heavier during pregnancy uh, right now I have to trim their hooves and I am not looking forward to it because the bigger that they are the less that they want you to do it or at least my girls want me to touch them like right now they're in that stage where they're like so over being pregnant especially Clara that she's the one that I have to keep an eye on her hooves the most and she's the one that makes it so much harder and so much longer to do a very simple task so maybe that will help me with that too but I'll share that when I do kind of a homesteader haul in another video that I have planned for you guys